Hello friends, my name is Taufik and you're watching my channel Graphics 10. So in this video, I am going to talk about the step and repeat option in Corel Draw. So let's get started. So there are actually two ways to apply this particular option. So I'm going to start with the shortcut key first. So I'll need any shape. So I'm going to create an ellipse. I will apply a color. Now if I perform any step, let's say if I move this shape over here, then I press Ctrl R or if you are using Mac then Command R. So it will repeat the step. So that's why it is called step and repeat. But what if in one step along with moving it, I will copy it by using the right click, right click. So this will copy in a single step. So if I press Ctrl R now, then it will look like something. So it will look something like this. Again, if I do it right here, right click. So it will repeat the step. So step and repeat. <clears throat> so I can do n number of things using this particular option. So let's say I will use another ellipse. I will color it. I will remove the outline. And let's say if I click at the center, we will get the center of rotation or axis of rotation. I will keep it here. <coughs> now I will rotate the shape. So if I want the shape to be rotated at a particular angle, so let's say I want it to be rotated at 15 degrees. So specific precisely 15 degrees if I want, then without using any shortcut key, it is quite difficult to achieve 345 degrees as you can see over here. 360 minus 15 is 345. So achieving 355 precisely, it is very difficult. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press and hold control key or command key if you're using Mac and then rotate. So it will snap to 15 degrees. So if I want 30, then I will move it a little further. So it will snap to 30 degrees. So I want it to 15 degrees. So right click and then control R. So I'm pressing control R repeatedly. So it will look something like this. So again, I'm going to select all the shapes and I will apply transparency using the transparency tool. I'm using uniform transparency, which is by default 50%, as you can see, 50%. I will copy single petal. Again, if I group this control G or right click group and if I move this or resize this from a corner then it will it will be like this but what if I want to uh, reduce this in a like this if I want to reduce this like this with all sides so I have to press and hold shift key so it will be like this right click Again, I will perform the same thing. So it will look something like this. And if I copy this entirely, I can change the color. So I can use this in my designs. Very simple to create something like that. And again, if I change slightly, if I change any value slightly, then the result will be totally different. So if I keep it to 30 degree and control R, so the result will be totally different. Again, I will right click. If I place this axis of rotation at a different position, then again, the result will be different, different like this. <coughs> so a minor change in the value will result in a completely different object. I will show you one more time or another example. So let's say again, I will ungroup this. I will take the same petal and instead of applying uniform transparency, I will apply linear transparency to this using the transparency tool. So I will press and hold shift button exactly at the center. I will copy this and flip this using this <coughs> mirror horizontally option. 
place it so remember if i don't use this uh, option linear transparency this particular object design won't work again i have to group this again if i don't group this this won't work like this control and control r so it will look totally different from this as you can see clearly black i will increase the size a little bit so as you can see these are two entirely different designs objects so if i change the value slightly we will get the totally different result again if i choose any other shape so let's say i will choose this upward arrow like this i will change the shape a little bit i will apply blue color color you can choose any color <coughs> again linear transparency like this right click flip again you have to group this otherwise it won't work keep it over here control right click control r so you will get totally different result every time you change the values now as i mentioned earlier there are two ways to do this so this is the first way using the shortcut key control r or command r now what is the diff second way so i will delete this again before that i will show you another example let's say if i take ellipse will apply any color now using this particular tool called as the twirl tool i will increase the size or rather i will decrease the size of this object now remember this twirl tool only applies to the outline if i apply it over here it won't work so it only applies to the outline so using that particular property i will increase the size a little bit i will create a abstract shape so i will press and hold left click and i will create an abstract shape so as you can see clearly this is a completely abstract sh shape we cannot name this and this is a symmetrical shape so by using So the step and repeat option and again the transparency option we can create or convert this asymmetrical object into a symmetrical object so again i will choose the transparency tool i will again apply linear transparency shift like this so i will copy this now flip now you can clearly see this is looking symmetrical this is looking symmetrical so i will group this again group click again so i will keep it to 30 degree right click control r now this will become heavy because it contains so many objects so it will become a bit slow as you can see undo so this is as you can clearly see this is now a symmetrical object but we have created this using a using an asymmetrical object so this is the beauty of step and repeat option so if you want to use this in any of your design but it feels heavy because it contains so many objects you can simply convert this into bitmap convert to bitmap i will choose resolution to 100 okay for now usually keep the resolution to 300 but for example i am showing keep it to 100 so this has now become a quicker lot quicker because this is an image not an object so uh, simply uh, you can again reduce the opacity and use it in the background as well so this is the first step using the shortcut or first way using the shortcut key again if you don't want to use the shortcut key there is another method or there there is another way go to window go to dockers dockers is usually the panels dockers means panels different panels so go to dockers and choose this transform the shortcut key is alt f7 or if you are using mac then option f7 so 
so this panel or docker will open so if you want to displace choose this position option and we have to choose the anchor point so let's say i want to displace it along x axis how many copies you want choose and apply so this will be the result and let's say if i want to rotate this so go to rotate and choose the anchor point again and copies let's say i want to keep it to 4 and angle 15 degrees apply so this is how it will look so again let's say if i want to complete the circle 23 apply so it will look something like this so this is how we can use step and repeat option using the dockers panel and earlier i showed you the first way which is using the shortcut key which is control r so using these two ways you can create or you can apply step and repeat to any object in coral raw and create some really cool shapes or designs so that's it for this video if you find this video useful please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next video until then bye bye and cheers